All right. Oh, ooh, camera. What? Okay, anyway. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another GVP decklist video for Card 5 Vanguard. This is my V Premium Shadow Paladin build. Not gonna lie, first recording died because I need some maximum uh, storage on my phone. Oof. But anyway, as you can tell, I fell for the bait. Oof, I hit the camera stand again. My bad, guys. And <laughs> fell for the Revenger Raging Fall Dragon Reverse <laughs> build. It's really funny because at first I didn't even realize I had the cards and here's an example, right? So way back when, when they were doing V-Clan Collection, right? Boom! This one came to be V Special Series 2 V-Clan Collection Volume 2. This, this collection came with ya boy, Revenger, Raging Forum Dragon. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, and then V-Clan Collection Volume 4 kicked in. Bam! Which then came out with this unit. And yes, I pulled a super parallel. I'm pretty happy about that. And so, what happened? Well, I had the cards to build this deck, so I built it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how it came to be. It's really funny. It's really hilarious. So anyway, let's get to it. We'll start off with the trigger lineup. All right, let's start it off. So I run three Dark Shield Mac Leers. Gotta run your Heal Guardian, so I run four... Astral Train, uh, Astral Chain Dragons. I run four Grim Revengers because you need units with the Revenger in their card name, and that's the only critical trigger in V Premium that has Revenger in the card name. Anyway, I run two Death Feather Eagles, two Dark Side Trumpeters, and one Belial Owl. As you can tell, the Sentinels for my deck are these four units right here. Three Macleers and one Belial Owl because I realized that Critinals are pretty good. <laughs> Finally came to that conclusion. I know, uh, so, yeah. That's the trigger lineup. I like it. Next up is the grade one lineup. So I won, uh, one, I run one Frontline Revenger Claudus. Four Dark Armor Revenger Rinal. Four Cherishing Knight Bronwyns. And four Self-Control Revengers Rakia. Revenger. Self-Control Revenger Rakia. Man, doing these on the fly. Oh, I can't fold my words. Anyway, these are the grade ones. And I... <laughs> grade one... Uh, the grade one lineup could be different for every... Uh, raging... What is it? Raging Fall Dragon build. <laughs> because... Uh, Claudus is pretty important in drawing cards and countercharging. Just, mm, but like I kind of just have this, so that's my great woman lineup. Next up, we have the great two. So I run four Dark Cloak Revenger Tartus, four Overcoming Revenger Rukias, and four Barrier Troop Revenger Dorants. I like how I did this so that way it looks pretty awkward. Anyway, so, yeah, these are the four grade two units I use. Star 2 is great for superior calling uh, units. Rukia is just a beater. As long as you have a grade one in the same column as this unit, its continuous skill allows it to gain 5k. This is even during your opponent's turn. And then Dorant is basically a beater. Counter Bless 1, Soul Bless 1, and it gains 10,000 power until end of turn. And bonus, if you have Frontline Revenger Claudus on a Vanguard Circle or Rear Guard Circle, when you call this unit, you get to draw a card. And this unit basically says if you have Barrier Troop Revenger Dorant on the Vanguard Circle or Rear Guard Circle, you counter charge one. So there's additional skills depend, uh, depending on if these two are on the board. At the same time, so yeah, there it is. And finally, what you've been waiting for the grade three lineup. So, from V Clan Collection 2, we have Revenger Raging Forum Dragon, and then from V Clan Collection 4, we have Revenger Raging Fall Dragon Reverse. Essentially, if your opponent is silly enough to just give you five damage, you essentially can do three vanguard attacks essentially it's like the dragonic overlord the x from the kagero clan of the dragon empire nation so it was really specific there but yeah no basically ride this unit right even four more damage counter blast one 
you get to search your deck for up to a grade 2 or less card with Avengers card name and superior call it to a rear guard and then shuffle your deck. It only happens when you're at 4 damage or more. And then at the end of the battle that this unit is attacked, you retire 3 units with Revenger in their card names. You choose one grade 3 unit from your hand that has Revenger in its card name and then you superior ride it as stand. Which of course would be Revenger Raging Fall Dragon Reverse. So I mean like it's during the attack phase so literally that activation skill means nothing. But this is assuming you have 5 damage. So essentially, for Pam, you ride into this bad boy, right? Alright, cool. So, you attack again. Alright, make note, you're at 5 damage, right? So, basically, you have to counterblast 3 and discard 3 cards from hand. Then, you have the choice, the choice, to lock two stand rear guards on your board and then if you have five cards in the damage zone or two or more locked cards re-stand that's why if your opponent gives you five damage you literally can beat them down as if it's dragonic overlord the x so that's kind of like the combo i've noticed it's really fun. It's really, like, literally, in one turn, you could get two Imaginary Gift Force 1 markers or two Imaginary Gift Force 2 markers, however you're feeling. But, yeah, it's great. And then, I mean, if you didn't finish them off that turn, there's the activation skill in the next turn, which is just uh, lock a Revenger unit on your board, and you choose three Revengers on your board against 5k. So, uh, in addition, it's second skill, which allows it to restand. If you have three locked cards then you don't have to counterblast three because this unit's second skill counterblast cost is reduced by the number of lock cards on your board. That's why you do the activation skill first, which gives your front row essentially, what, 15,000 power if you do it three times because this activate skill can be activated as long as you have the cost. So it's insane. This is like that. And I hear from my friends at my card shop, this build is schnasty. It's schnasty, quoting from a friend. But like, yeah, I really like it. So that's the grade 3 lineup. Finally, the miscellaneous stuff. Uh, so here's my starter, Crisis Revenger Fritz. This has the text in its skill that if you win second, you get a quick shield. But know that the premium starters or the starters that have this specific art style or have the V in the lower left part of the card, if you can see it, uh, there's an errata saying that it doesn't matter if it says if you ride on it, draw a card, or if you ride on it, draw a card, and if you win second, get a quick shield. This text right here that you see on this unit, it applies to all V-Premium Grade 0 starters that have the text when wrote upon draw card. So, like I said in the last decklist video, it's, yeah, there's an errata for that. Got a quick shield. It's not the clan quick shield, apparently, but literally the clan quick, literally the clan quick shields are super expensive on TCG player, like 24 for like one of them. I don't remember if it's not Okami or Kagero, but anyway, I run... 10 double-sided imaginary gift force markers so like highly recommend again like i do in my uh, decklist videos to get double-sided so you have imaginary gift force one imaginary gift force two saves trees don't have to kill trees very useful like literally you don't have to be like oh where are my imaginary gift force two it's right here just literally you just flip it like take it out of the sleeve and flip like it's not that hard but yeah i run eight of these as a general rule in my V Premium builds, I usually put imaginary gift markers equivalent to the number of units in my deck that have gift markers, or the markers right here. So I run eight units that allow me to get a force marker. So I just do that. So yeah, that's uh that's the miscellaneous stuff. All right, so there you have it. This is my Shadow Paladin V Premium build of April 2022. So, I so the grade, like I said, the grade one lineup. You can mix and match however you want. The grade, the trigger lineup. Feel free to do the same. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So, hope you like it. If you want to leave a comment about it, you want to have discussion about this deck list build, feel free to put it a comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for.